hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let us go in detail about ram guys we will be completing everything about ram in this tutorial only guys only the chip diagram we will be discussing in future so let us introduce ram first so ram is nothing but random access memory so once you hear the word ram you need to remember that it can do two operations guys that is nothing but read and write operations so random access memory fine so you now know the full form of it so is a read write primary memory in the computer so in first tutorial we have told that ram and rom belong to primary memory i hope everyone remembers that so in the computer in which the data is retained only for as long as the power supply is on guys only when the power supply is on the data is stored in the ram once the power supply is off the data will be lost guys so that's the reason why we call ram as a volatile memory so now i hope everyone got a small idea on what is ram so now let us go through types of ram guys okay so basically ram is of two types guys so those two types are nothing but static ram and dynamic ram so let us learn how what is static ram and what is dynamic ram so basically static ram static ram it remains valid power supply is applied to the unit and it is easier to use shorter shorter read write cycles apply applications is excuse me guys implemented on the cache memory mainly so static static ram is like a normal ram guys okay once we are going through the differences you will be having a clear idea don't worry so basically static ram is really a normal ram which is which works very fastly and efficiently and it can do read and write operations guys so this static ram is a bit fast but its construction and everything is costly and it is complex guys so that's the main drawback in the static ram when we come to dynamic ram stores the information in the form of electrical charges right so it stores the things in the form of electrical charges applied to capacitors reduces power consumption so this is the main advantage of this so as there are capacitors and everything the circuit complexity will be really less guys when we compare with static ram okay so now i hope everyone got a small idea once we are going through the differences we will be having a in detail idea guys so now let us go through differences okay so static ram uses transistors fine i think this is what i forgot here to write okay fine the in static ram the data is stored in transistors to store the single bytes of data whereas dynamic ram which is popularly called as dram uses the separate capacitors to store each bit of data guys fine so static ram does not need periodic refreshment or maintenance data as it takes only less number of clock cycles there is no need of that whereas dram needs refreshment to maintain the change in the capacitors data so it will be varying right it may vary at any moment so dynamic ram should be refreshed frequently so static ram is complex guys its construction and everything is really complex whereas dynamic rams ram is really simple and static ram is expensive and dynamic ram is less expensive static ram is faster dynamic ram is slower application of static ram is nothing but cache memory and dynamic ram is nothing but main memory so now i hope you got a clear idea on cache memory and main memory and you also got an idea on static ram and dynamic ram okay so now let us go through dynamic ram types where static ram has no types guys whereas dynamic ram got four types so i'll be just saying you the names and just i'll be saying you the one line use of it guys because i i was unable to find the perfect definitions or perfect uses of these rams because they are really rare rare topics online so i was unable to find so dynamic ram is four types which improves performance of the most of the main memory of the ram only some portion of is made up of rom guys rom is a thing which can do only one operation that is only read it can only read it cannot write anything guys so the four types of drams that were nothing but dynamic rams are multi bank dynamic ram extended data out dynamic ram synchronous data dynamic ram direct ram bus dynamic ram so these are the four types so multi banking dynamic ram is a type of dram which is used for videos guys to play videos to run videos really accurately with second to second frame these rams are really useful guys fine so extended data output ram 
so extended data output ram that improves the time of read from memory read from memory on a faster microprocessor so let us assume that our microprocessor is i5 so we can use this if we are having i7 which is an advanced version that will be really easily compatible with this because this ram can do the read operations really fastly guys basically that is also read from memory fine so now i hope everyone got a small idea on the two types of ram ramps dynamic ramps that we have discussed till now so let us further continue synchronous dram synchronous dram is nothing but sdram is a generic name and this is a kind of ram which gives a synchronous within the clock speed it works synchronously within the clock speed guys so that is nothing but synchronous dram okay so the fourth type is direct ram bus right so this is mainly used for graphical purposes when we are working with graphics like we are running many many different different softwares as a civil engineer we are constructing buildings using autocad and many other softwares we need this direct ram bus dram guys which helps a lot so now i hope everyone got a clear crystal clear idea on rams so in next tutorial we will be going through roms guys so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching